Hi, my name is Abigail Ventura. Hello, everyone. My name is Luis Beltran. My name is Monica Salcedo. Hi, my name is Jose Torres. My name is Olivia Serrano. My name is Crystal Ruiz. When I think about preparing, um, being backstage, taking pictures of our costumes, um, it's always a really fun time. I still remember my first festival in 2010. We had three Spanish dance guest artists, which were Paloma Gomez, Carmela Greco, and Cristian Lozano. Una de las eh, cosas más bonitas que viví en, en, en Ensamble eh, fue el número que montamos Irma y yo, Cádiz. <laughs> Esa alegría tan preciosa y tan difícil <laughs> Y la que nos costó tanto de aprender con el mantón, que para arriba, que para abajo, que nos equivocábamos, que era un desastre. Ensemble Español es y continúa a ser una gran parte de mi vida. He tenido tantas maravillosas oportunidades y experiencias en todo esto por causa de Dame Libby, que creía en mí desde el muy, muy principio y por la cual siempre seré agradecido. Y que al final salió tan bonito. Bueno, pues de ese momento tengo un gran recuerdo porque me, me ayudó a acercarme mucho a Irma y a conocerla y, y, y a darme cuenta de la persona tan extraordinaria que es. I saw Ensemble Español for the very first time back in 1978. Back then the company was comprised of five dancers, three women, two men together with Dame Libby and a couple musicians. I fell in love with Ensemble back then. And till this day, here I am, 42 years later, still holding my head up high in admiration for what Libby created. And proud to say I am part of this company. A fond memory of the festival, all right? That's, uh, that was a tough assignment here for me, only because I'm on my 36th season in the Ensemble Español and I have many fond memories of many, many festivals. But I think, um, I'll share with you the impact of always premiering at the Ensemble Español. And of course, that was the 1985 American Spanish Dance and Music Festival, where Dame Libby had me on stage in many of her programs that year, including her ballet, Memorias de Vidas Gitanas, Memories of Gypsy Lives, where she had me serve as a narrator and orator. Uh, on the depiction of the gypsies and their and their travels and one of the selections of the pieces that were really impactful were the poems of Pablo Neruda and showing the injustices of the people of, of the town that he was talking about which of course fit Dame Libby's vision of the story she was she was telling in the different follows she used of flamenco I have been around Ensemble for such a long time, so it was a little difficult to pick my favorite festival performance. My favorite memory from festival has to be my very first festival performing La Liebre choreographed by first dancer Jose Torres. It was really a full circle moment for me because when I was younger I used to go and watch the festivals and now I was a part of the ensemble and I was a part of the festivals. What the Spanish Dance Festival means to me, our annual Spanish Dance Festival, is family in light of everything that's going on in the world right now. When I think of the festival, I think of my childhood. I started my dance training at a festival at the age of nine. I was in Lili C. Vega's class and we had Maria Elena La Cordobesa sing for us. It was so beautiful and so memorable and I couldn't get enough of it. It is where we all come together around a common cause and that's sharing our art, sharing our knowledge of Spanish dance and our love for Spanish dance not only amongst ourselves, but with the audience, with you. The first one being 22 years ago when I officially danced with the Ensemble Español All City Junior Dancers. Um, I was 12 years old, finally got to dance on the stage with my mother officially in the company. So that was very exciting. Uno de los recuerdos que tengo de los festivales pasados fue cuando Libby me enseñó a bailar Ben Amor en mi carro. En ese tiempo yo estaba aprendiendo a bailar Ben Amor y uno de los días llevé a Libby al teatro y me dice, Juan, ¿cómo va Ben Amor? Y yo digo, pues Libby, ahí va, estoy aprendiéndolo, me tengo que juntar más con los chicos y así va a estar mucho mejor. Y me dice, ¿tiene tus cámaras? Y yo, sí, sácala y me grabas porque yo 
poner unos pointers para que cuando tú lo hagas te quede perfecto. Y yo digo, ok, pues le, le saco la cámara y la empiezo a grabar y ella ahí al lado y empieza. <risa> después entran las chicas y yo manejando y yo viendo a ella como lo hacía como ella me estaba explicando las cosas me dice hay una sección donde entran los chicos y las chicas es muy sensual y entonces ellas empiezan a una esquina y ustedes empiezan en otra esquina y empiezan a hacer el zapateado y el zapateado es así y me dice pues y cuando estés en el zapateo tienes que hacerlo tan fuerte que para que le des más poder y que se vea muy bien y yo viendo la IA como lo hacía y pues llegamos al teatro y ya y me dice pues espero que esto te ayude y digo sí Libby y pues eso fue uno de los recuerdos que siempre tengo en mi mente cuando sale Ben Amor y lo estoy bailando The second one was when Paloma Gomez came to teach and dance with us for the first time. I was in love. I was in love and my dancing has changed tremendously since knowing her and meeting her. I, I know I cried my eyes out when she was getting ready to leave because I just didn't want her to go. Ha sido siempre un verdadero placer, ha sido una satisfacción enorme, he disfrutado muchísimo. Y bueno, pues recuerdo ese primer año eh, haciendo, que estrenamos la coreografía del Albaicín junto con Cristian Lozano. Y hoy viendo las fotos, eh, 14 años después, parece increíble que haya pasado tanto tiempo de una manera tan rápida. Pero bueno, lo que espero es poder seguir con todos vosotros durante muchísimos años más. Y mi recuerdo especial para Dama Libby que a la cual admiré, admiro y seguiré admirando siempre. My favorite choreography has to be the tanguillos. My favorite memory from the festival would have to be working with Carmela Greco on her choreography. Otro de los eh, de los recuerdos maravillosos que tengo de ensamble es cuando monté por primera vez la coreografía mmm, el año pasado para el ballet joven de los tanguillos de Cádiz también. I think that this helped me grow a lot as a dancer because it was very demanding and I had to push myself to limits that I did not know that I could be pushed, but in the end I was really grateful to be able to do this experience. Porque pude eh, trabajar un poco con Julia, trabajar con toda la gente joven de ensamble que es, son también fantásticos. The festival is always my favorite time of year. It's seven days of whirlwind of creativity and art and music and culture, all just kind of wrapped up into this one event. It's great because our studios are filled with all of these different artists and musicians and students that come from all over the world just to partake and be a part of this community and to be a part of this art form. One of my favorite memories of the festival was when I was promoted to a company dancer. Libby had called everyone into the green room as she typically did when somebody was promoted. She handed us all a program and asked us to turn to a specific page. And on that page were bios of all the dancers and my picture was in there with the title company dancer and I was really 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 surprised really excited it's one of my favorite memories another exciting and memorable element of our festival is of course working with guest artists from Spain and the United States Dame Libby after working with Jose Greco and Nana Lorca early on saw the importance of having these collaborations with guest artists to further the mission of the ensemble. Nosotros lo conocemos aquí en Madrid casi por casualidad hace muchísimo tiempo en los estudios de amor de Dios y desde entonces forjamos una gran amistad, eh, amistad que se ha hecho más evidente a lo largo de los festivales en los que he colaborado con ellos. Eh, clases con la compañía y con la comunidad donde he intentado exponer mi particular forma de ver el flamenco. Y luego coreografías las que hemos trabajado, Alberzara, eh, Sajulería, Fin de Fiesta, Farrusol, Farruca, ambas coreografías en el 2013. Y luego hace poquito, en el 2019, estrenamos Triana, 
tiranas un guiño a esa vieja eh, gitana jorradera que, que bailaban en Sevilla, esos talgos del Titi. De hecho, Triana se convirtió también en un tributo a nuestra gran dama Lirico Maico, pues era del primer año que no la teníamos con nosotros. Yo recuerdo con gran cariño a dama Lirico Maico, ella fue siempre muy cariñosa y muy cercana conmigo. Además, le tengo una gran admiración. Admiración por, por su carrera como bailarina, admiración por su trayectoria como coreógrafa, de las grandes coreografías de Habana, eh, por nombrar una, voy a nombrar bolero, porque la primera vez que la vi se me quedó grabada y, y es pura magia sobre el escenario. I'd like to share with you a few memories that I have of perhaps a few pieces. My first one being Bolero. Bolero was choreographed back in 1993 by Dame Libby Comaico. I was part of the first cast. First girl on the floor, to second girl on the floor, to coming in the middle of the dance with my partner Jorge Perez. Bolero has become an audience favorite. Irma Suarez Ruiz and myself are the original dancers of that ballet, and it's truly been an inspiration to, to see it grow year after year with the different generations of dancers taking part in it. Now I come in with a bata de cola, which by the way, was not as long originally as it is today. Somewhere someone thought, well, hmm, this bata could be just a little bit longer, and why not? It starts with the classes. It starts with the fun, classical, flamenco, folklore classes, all of them. They're all so much fun. You all, you learn so much. It's, it's one of the best parts of the year where you really feel you're growing as a dancer because nonstop. All the stress, the laughter, the camaraderie are all things that we feel around this time. Each end of the festival season for me marks a time for regeneration and rebirth. A time for resting and enjoyment until the start of the new season, where our work and dedication to our art form resumes. Thank you. What the festival means to me is celebration, tradition, and sharing the love for the art form really honoring Dame Libby's legacy and what she has brought here to the United States and sharing that with all audiences all over the world. To me, the festival means growth. It's an amazing opportunity to learn new techniques and really grow as a dancer, while also learning more about the Spanish dance culture or just the Spanish culture in general from new instructors. My favorite part of the festival is hearing what the guest artists have to say about Spanish dance, whether it's the history and the the culture of the particular style that we're learning about or the a philosophical discussion about why we dance. It's really nice to have the opportunity to spend time with people who are as passionate about Spanish dance as I am. What comes to mind when I think of the festival is the phrase beautiful chaos. From preparing to learning a bunch of technique in classes with guest artists to performing. It is a lot, but it is beautiful indeed. One festival, I took Ana Gonzalez's Clásico class. I just got the hang of playing castanets, and she came over to me and she said, Rasguña el palio. I have so many memories taking classes with Edo, Timo, Juan Mata, Paloma, Cristian. For me, the festival is the heartbeat of our company and it is the compas that we all listen to to guide us throughout our season. It is an opportunity for everyone in our community to come together. One of my favorite choreographies performing in this festival was Dualia, which was a pa de cuatro choreographed by Carlos Rodriguez and has been so dear into my heart all the repertoire that our company has done over the years. But so far, this has been one of my favorites. Thank you so much. Hola, ¿qué tal a todos? Soy Carlos Rodríguez. Eh, os mando un besazo muy grande al Ensamble Español, a Jorge, a Irma y a todos mis amigos de Chicago. Hoy estoy aquí con la dama en mi corazón, Dama Libby, 
que en paz descanse y que Dios la tenga en su gloria. Para mí una de las mejores experiencias que he tenido y fue de una manera muy especial fue la obra Mar de Fuego. Eh, desde cómo se creó la coreografía, el vestuario, cómo nació de ir buscando opciones que ya existían para reciclar el vestuario y convertirlo en algo mágico y darle vida de nuevo. Y bueno, las luces de mi Luis Perdigueros, la colaboración con todos y cada uno de los bailarines, tanto eh, con Irma en su solo como con los eh, solistas y bailarines principales de la compañía, eh, para mí fue una de las cosas más especiales que he vivido allí. Para mí, el resultado final, que fue eh, apoteósico, fue nuevo, fue fresco, fue innovador. Eh, vosotros, los bailarines, estuvisteis en todo momento brillantes, eh, amando la coreografía y bailándola desde el corazón y desde el alma. Y bueno, quería daros las gracias en primer momento y después también eh, eh, deciros que sin vosotros no hubiese existido esa obra, sin vuestro, sin vuestro tesón, sin vuestra entrega, vuestra fuerza y vuestra pasión. Growing up in the juniors, the festival was always a really, really exciting time. We would leave our house in the morning with a bag of food because we were going to be taking classes from 11 in the morning until about 5 or 5.30. The festival means pushing yourself to new limits. When I was in the youth company, my fellow dancers and I would always go outside of the J building, run around, dance, practice the new choreographies we were learning, and sing. And then carpooling to the theater and rehearsing there until we were dismissed, so sometimes even 10 o'clock. And I remember my first festival, I didn't even perform. We were just, um, I think all we did was hand out programs, but there was so much to learn and there was so much um, to just take in. And those, those festivals were really, really fun. Just hanging out with my friends and dancing and my feet were killing me, but it was so much fun. I loved it. It was my favorite part of the summer. Little memories of being in the parking lot and rehearsing and going over choreography so that we could get it right on stage. Like those are those memories that I will never forget. My favorite memory of June Festival has to be the feeling of excitement in the air that's coming from everybody, including the dancers, guest artists, crew, and the audience. From the dancers in the professional company, with the youth company, with guest artists from Spain, with students taking our community workshops and connecting with our audience members. It's bringing this vast group together to honor and help us promote our mission. It's something that I believe is so special and unique to the time of year that I've enjoyed ever since I was 11 years old. And for me, the Flamenco Festival always meant a time of pure joy mixed with Spanish art and culture. My most impactful memory of the festival was in 2015 when I was uh, picked to do a duet with Claudia Pizarro, a Fandangos, um, and, and, and highlighted in a duet with her uh, was the highlight of that festival for me. Um, because we had worked towards that for so many years and it was just the culmination of, of many years of work and I'll never forget that moment. Another memory that I have that is very dear to my heart is the Madrileño. This piece is very special to me, not only because I have my daughter Crystal Ruiz performing in it, but here I have also included my granddaughter, Emily Juliet was only seven weeks old. 2017, dancing the Madrileño next to my very own daughter, Emily Juliet. All she had to do was travel in an old fashioned baby buggy across the stage, be picked up by her mommy, cuddled, put back in the baby buggy, and leave the stage with her mom. What was funny here was that my daughter was so worried. She says, mom, what if Emily starts crying in the middle of the stage? I said, it's okay. You know, it happens. If she starts crying, you'll pick her up, console her. And if you need to carry her off the stage, so be it. So that was the big worry. Well, lo and behold, Emily never cried. She actually had her own applause. I think that was so special. 
feelings, mixed with emotions, especially sad because at this time, I always know the flamenco season has to come to an end. And it has some of my best memories as a dancer and some of my worst memories. And it's a very stressful time of year and a lot of craziness can happen. We've had some issues with not having choreographies finished um, and scrambling to get them done in time with costumes maybe not being ready as soon as we would like, but in every single festival we have always managed to come together and put on a pretty great show. Well, are the annual talks that the youth company would have with Libby. It is a true celebration of its creator, Dame Libby Comichael, her persistence, her dedication, her vision. I remember before every show she would say, see you in Spain. These discussions were a reminder of the history and significance of the festival, um, what it meant for the past and what it means for our future. My favorite memory as a child was watching the company dancers rehearse for their pieces that they would perform at the festival and dreaming that one day I would be them. Now that that has happened, it's a dream come true and the festival means always being together. Even with all the stress and the worry and nervousness that may come with any particular festival, we always look forward to it and we're always willing to sacrifice a lot in our lives in order to be part of it. So the festival holds a very dear place in my heart and I look forward to everyone that I get to be a part of. It's definitely a chaotic time as well. Um, I'm never more exhausted than during the festival week, but it's also a time where I feel so invigorated um, and rejuvenated by, by everything that's happening. And so I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. I really, really miss being with the company dancers this year. I miss being around the guest artists from Spain, the students and the audience, all of you. Um, without you, we wouldn't be here. And so I hope you're safe. I hope you're well. I hope that now in these times we can all surround a common cause of equality and love and health and wellness. Please be well. Thank you. One of the things I'm going to miss about the festival is the applause. Dancing from home and not performing, I've never realized how big of an impact that has, and living. I will always see her coming after each show to take her bow, and I will always carry that memory in my heart. Remember, when we get together, Ensemble represents a mosaic of world cultures. We bridge those cultures every time we meet with you, our audience members, and each other in the dance studio and in your home. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Y hasta muy pronto. Gracias, que os quiero, Jorge, Irma, a todos los bailarines, a todos los juniors, a todo el equipo técnico, la gente que está también en la oficina y que ojalá nos veamos muy pronto, que lo estoy deseando, os echo de menos. Nosotros hemos estado trabajando ahora en una residencia en el 2019 y hemos trabajado sobre una coreografía que además es una alegría porque de esta vamos a salir con alegría, muchísima fuerza, pero necesitamos a vosotros. Así que nada amigos, espero veros muy muy pronto. Mando un beso grande. O sea, ¿qué os voy a contar de Ensamble Español? Ensamble Español forma parte de mi vida, es mi vida. Los amo, los quiero, los respeto y voy a estar siempre con ellos, ahí de una manera o de otra, ¿vale? Así que os mando mil besos Ensamble Español. Adelante, sois grandes y siempre lo vais a hacer y siempre vais a contar con mi apoyo. Os mando un abrazo muy fuerte, un besazo y ojalá que sigáis cosechando muchísimos éxitos porque os lo merecéis. ¡Mua!
aquí estamos en nuestra casita para que tengáis buenos recuerdos de cuando estuvisteis aquí con Libby, con Mami y con todos los... con nuestro querido Isi. Sí. Entonces. Sí, queridos amigos del ensamble, nos acordamos muchísimo de vosotros. Os echamos de menos, sobre todo el mes de junio como este, tan caluroso y tan duro de pasar con esta pandemia tan dramática del mundo entero. Os queremos muchísimo y no os olvidamos ni un segundo. Nuestros recuerdos con vosotros es evidente que el ensamble para, para nosotros, para toda la familia, ha sido parte de nuestra vida. Como sabéis, yo conocí a Libby muy, muy jovencito en el Northwood Institute en Indiana, ¿sí? Y entonces desde allí nos, nos conocimos con Greco y hasta el 40 aniversario hemos podido participar y disfrutar de sus mm, creaciones artísticas. Nos recordamos muy bien de todas las clases, de todos los cursos, de los montajes y de nuestros queridos y amigos y que Irma. sois como una familia. Irma y Jorge, nuestros queridos enamorados del amor brujo, Carmelo y Candela. No podemos olvidarlo eso nunca. Eh, y sobre todo José y Efraín que bailábamos nuestro puerto sujetándome ese paso a dos con el brazo no lo puedo olvidar o sea que estáis siempre en mi corazón y en mi espíritu os deseo que os esté saliendo todo muy bien que no estéis na ni nadie malito ni vosotros ni nadie de vuestra familia all our best for you all and have a beautiful time dancing and doing whatever you want bye bye kisses Venir pronto. Hola a todos. Poco más tengo yo que añadir. Eh, para mí el ensamble es, eh, es una parte muy importante de, de mi vida. Eh, tengo muchísimos buenos recuerdos de, de Libby y de, y de todos vosotros y de todos los músicos con los que he tenido el gusto de trabajar. Eh, me acuerdo mucho de alegrías y jaleos, del puerto, de las seguirías de Libby... Bueno, muchas, muchas anécdotas, muchos momentos maravillosos y, no, y es, es difícil expresarlos. Así que lo que voy a hacer es añadir una pequeña cosa, que es eh, tocar una, el final de una de las piezas que, que Libia adoraba y que, y que tan maravillosamente tocaba con sus, con sus castañones. <risa> 